What is going on everybody? Today we are diving into some downtown analytics. We have a ton of data right here that we will be getting into. And alongside of that, we are gonna be opening up two Donruss blasters. So we're basically just gonna be opening up some Donruss, trying to find some downtowns ourselves, and diving into some data. And we'll just be talking a lot about different controversies and a lot of stuff about downtowns and what it kind of looks like this year and years past and moving forward, what we think should happen. But before we get into these boxes, we are giving away a 2021 Chronicles Football Blaster Box. It's going on until the end of the year. All you have to do to enter is like, subscribe, and comment on this video. Every single video that you comment on leading up until the end of the year when we do the giveaway, you get an extra entry. It does not include our short form content though, but still go and check that out. But here we go, let's go ahead and open these boxes and get the packs all set out. But there's been a lot of talk, basically every year it seems like, that they are overprinting downtowns. Now, I don't know if this is entirely true, just because everyone loves the downtown, so they're like, hey, I'm gonna print like way more just to get more publicity and more people buying stuff. Um, but we'll be kind of looking at some of the data like that. Now we don't know exactly for sure what's up with that and we won't really have an, uh, like a direct answer for that, but you know, we can do what we can and uh, look at listings and sales and just the quantity of items and all that stuff. But there's packs for the first box and let's get them for the second one. Let's get these out. It comes with six packs. There's 15 cards per pack, so you get a lot of cards in this product, which is pretty good if you're first starting out collecting and you just wanna have some cards. Um, but let's go ahead and get into a pack and then we'll dive into the data. Here, I'll put that off to the side. So if you guys are new to the channel, we actually pulled a downtown out of our very first um, Donruss blaster which was pretty amazing, but here we go. Should I have go through the base? A little bit, yeah, okay. not too. I'll check for um, like full names and stuff. Yeah. But here we go. Julius Brents on our first rated rookie. We got Paris Johnson Jr. What's oh. this? Josh Jacobs. Uh, oh, it's a memorabilia card. Wow. Numbered out of 25. <laughs> Josh nice. Jacobs. Awesome. Jersey card out of 25. That's there dude, we go. That's sweet. Okay. I'll I was take not that. Expecting that. It's definitely not a uh, PSA 10, but uh, yeah, we'll take that on our What's the number that is? 25. 18 Eight. of 25. Uh not from any specific game or event. Wow. But there we go. <laughs> I was not expecting to pull a numbered card. <laughs> And we were just talking about pulling it downtown. So I'll put that there. Um, I'll also put the uh, rated rookies with um, that right there. Or I'll just put them on top. I'll just put stuff on there as I go. But here we go. Let's go ahead and dive into the first one. So we got Bryce Young. We have basically all of the downtowns listed on eBay. There's 52 of them. There's 35 sales. The very first sale was $1,100. And the last sale was 430. So there is a massive difference as time goes on. Like don't buy downtown when the product first comes out because now it's worth $670 less than it was when it first came out. This is a pattern on basically all these downtowns, but there are different players that have different um, analytics and just there's different factors that go into the prices of these cards, obviously. But then the CJ Stroud one, um, I'm sure everyone saw that first one go up on eBay. There's 53 listed, 53 sold. So some of the listings on like the most popular players are about the same. It's pretty interesting to look at, but the first sale was $4,050. The last sale was then $1,080. So almost a $3,000 difference, which is absolutely crazy. So there's those first cards. There's not, um, a huge difference between those two, except for that there was more uh, CJ Stroud 
uh, downtown sold. It's about the same listed. And we don't really have the percentages of like the differences, but it's probably about the same of depreciation. Here we go. Is that a full name? Leighton Vander? I don't know. Could be. I don't know. I'll put that to the side. Like this. First rated rookie. We got Trey Tucker. Here's Miles Murphy. And what is this? We got a Bijan Robinson on the Elite Series rookies. That's, That's nice. pretty cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'll put the rated rookies there as well. So the next two, we got Anthony Richardson. So all these, like these top four, Bryce Young, CJ Stroud, Anthony Richardson, and Joe Burrow, they have pretty much identical listing numbers. And the sales obviously um, kind of reflect what people, like the, how the player is playing. Like, uh, let's see, Anthony Richardson hurt only 22 sales, that's expected. And then same thing with Joe Burrow and Bryce Young. Everyone wants CJ Stroud, so more are selling. The Anthony Richardson first one sold for 1,088. The last sale was 500, so $500, $600 difference. Joe Burrow, first sale 500, and last sale 335, so depreciation of like $165. So I feel like a lot of them are starting to stable. Like it's been two weeks, right? Yeah. So, um, you know. It gets to a point to where they're up selling for a consistent um, dollar amount and it's not all over the board, but yeah. it's pretty predictable, like every year what's gonna happen. But here we go. Let's get through these. Like when it first comes out, everything goes for crazy amounts. And then it settles down. We got Travis Kelsey, Eric Gray. We got KJ Henry and right. a Marvin Mims on the Red Hot Rookies. Nice. There we go. I like those. Yeah, they're pretty cool. But the rated See, rookies are. We have a red hot for sale on eBay. Uh, uh, Jordan Love. Jordan Love, yep. PSA P 10. PSA 10, yep. Mm -hmm. The next two Jalen Hurts, Patrick Mahomes. 33 listed, 16 sales for Jalen Hurts, which this one was pretty surprising, honestly. There's not many Jalen Hurts on eBay and not many that have sold. I don't know if this is because of a print run thing or people are holding his cards. Like, because I think he's going to go to the Super Bowl, something like that. But the first one sold for $1,500, and the last sale was $330, which is a massive difference. I don't know. I guess the person that bought this one, maybe it was the only one on eBay. They didn't really know what they were doing, but that's kind of stupid to <laughs> buy that. And Patrick Mahomes, uh, 45 listed, 26 sold, 750 was 51 was the first sale. 461 was the last sale, so, you know. It's still pretty high. Yeah, it, it, it's pretty high, even for his, um, he's not having the best season, but that doesn't discredit everything that he's done. Here we go. We are halfway through this first box. Why is, I hate how they have all, oh my God. <laughs> all the cards are like flipped and turned. And the next one, I'm just gonna get through to the rated rookies. We got Stetson Bennett, that's not bad. And uh, Tyreek Stevenson for the Bears. And what's this next card? Oh, Ooh. we got a Zay Flowers right. portraits. That's really cool. Like or is that, that a, no, that's not portrait, that's canvas. 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 That's cool. We'll take that. That's a sick card. And we'll put that there. Did I ever put the other downtown there? Yep. So now we're getting into um, the veteran, or not veteran, but um, retired players, which is really interesting to look at the prices because you know they're obviously not playing anymore, so they can't like win another Super Bowl or have a good game. We got Joe Montana and Dan Marino for these next two. So all these are pretty much the same uh, number of listings. They're just like one off of each other or two off for these, but I'm talking about the whole group. We got Joe Montana, 39 
sales 27. The first sale was 350, the last sale was 200. So it did go down in price and that's just because the product was new and people were willing to pay a higher price. And then um, Dan Marino, 37 listed, 24 sales. First sale, $300, last sale, 202. So a $100 drop on those, but they're staying, like the, uh, the retired players, they're all staying at about $200 is what people are willing to pay for those retired players, which is understandable. I wouldn't really wanna pay a massive amount of money for um, like a modern card of a older player. I'd rather... Um, Cause they're gonna be printing them. I mean, yeah, I mean, the they time. can print whatever <laughs> they want. We got Patrick Peterson, Tony Pollard. Here's our first rated rookie. We got Isaiah Foskey and Jack Campbell. There's DK Metcalf on the Dominators. Mm. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Put these two rated rookies over there. We got one last pack on this Don Russ Blaster. So we got Peyton Manning. That kind of goes along with uh, Joe Montana and Dan Marino. So 38 listed. 26 sales started at 250 is staying around 200 so like i said these guys are staying at around 200 dollars each which is pretty interesting um just they're like legends so kind of like what i talked about before but we got b john robinson rookie running back 36 listed 28 sold so a lot are selling for him the first one sold for about 700 and the last sale was 276 so more than half of the price dropped, which is crazy. But there you go. So all these next ones that are not um, QBs, they have about the same number of cards listed just because um, QBs are obviously gonna be more popular. But here we go, hopping into this last pack. We got Tyler Lockett, Marquise Brown, Christian Wilkins, Joe Burrow, Davis Mills, we got Sky Moore, Harrison Smith, our first rated rookie, Keanu Benton, and what's this? It's a backwards card. We got Dak Prescott on the Revolution. Oh, that's cool. Or the, not Revolution, it's the Vortex. Vortex. Yep, it looks like the Revolutions. And we have Justin Simmons on the Red Press Proof. Hmm. It's pretty cool. So there we go. That a bad was, box. huh? Was not a bad box, really. Yeah, I, I mean a numbered card out of twenty-five. Yeah, like I'll take that. If it was game used though, or well, yeah. at least something. That's almost impossible. Yeah, and then a Stets, Stetson Bennett and the Zay Flowers. So not bad at all on the first blaster box. Let's talk about the next two players, and we'll hop into this second box. So we got Jimmy or Gibbs. So kind of the same um, as. Bijan Robinson, except I'd say Jameer Gibbs is having a better year than Bijan. But first sale was 600, um, last sale was 275, and there's the same listed for Bijan and Robin or Bijan and Gibbs, and more have sold for Gibbs because, in my personal opinion, he's been playing better. Last sale was 275, so literally one dollar off on those two cards. So, oh wait, do I need to do one more? Yeah, we got Josh Jacobs, another running back. 32 listed, 47 sold, which is very surprising. I don't know why I have so many have sold, probably just because of the low price point. The first one sold for 175, and the most recent sale was 200, so it actually went up, which is a little interesting. Um, probably just because he's a pretty stagnant player, but here we go. Hopping into the first pack of this Don Ross Blaster. The last box, our good card, came from our first pack. So when we pulled it downtown, out. you remember what pack that was? It was like second. It was third. like third, the third pack, something like that. Oh, here we go. Tank Dell, rated rookie. We got Chris Rodriguez 
And that's it for that pack. So just two rated rookies. Tank Dell, that's pretty good. I'll take that all day. Let's see who the next two players are that we're gonna be talking about. We got Saquon, 48, so that's a lot listed, and 37 have sold. So it's actually interesting how many of these have sold. I'm assuming these just sell more just because they're more affordable, but we got first sale of $200, in the last sale of 220 so this one actually went up as well i'd say josh jacobs and saquon are kind of in the same boat which is pretty interesting with the prices but here we got will levis 57 listed 31 sold first sale was 900 and the last sale was 400 so over 50 percent um less value now which is you know pretty unfortunate for the person who bought those <laughs> but i think what they should do moving forward with downtowns is have all of them numbered like maybe one out of 99 and then it just keeps going down like one out of 50 one out of 25 one out of 10 one out of five and then the one of one or something like that i feel like that would make the market for downtowns kind of stay at a good price like something that actually reflects the players but here we go first rated rookie we got Roshan Johnson. What is this? A Kendra Miller on the Elite Series Rookies. I'm not a huge fan of this design on this card. It just kind of looks a little silly and cheap to me. But there you go. Next two players. We got JSN and Quentin Johnston. And we actually pulled a Quentin Johnston downtown. Um, in a, our first blaster box, like I was mentioning. But we got JSN, 41 listed, 47 sold. So that's a lot sold on him. First sale was 400, the last sale was 230. So about half half off on that. Um, but I'd say all these guys, all the wide receivers, running backs, if they're not playing like super great, or it's all about the same. They're all selling for around $200. Um, but Quentin Johnson, 30 listed, 36 sold, first sale 200, last sale 150. So this is the cheapest downtown and we pulled it. So unfortunate that it's the cheapest one, but um, yeah, it dropped about $50 since the first sale. And that probably has something to do with uh, that guy being hurt, Justin Herbert. But here we go. Oh, I didn't even realize it was, that was, yeah, it was there. Around. Okay, so let's see. We got Jared Goff, Cam Akers. Really hope we can pull like an auto or something. That'd be nice. First rated rookie, Keon White. Next one, we got Brian Branch. And what was this? An another Marvin Mims on the Red Hot Rookies. That's the same one we yeah, got. Yeah, same one we got in the other box. Great. So that's pretty unfortunate. I think these came from the same retailer, so probably yeah. the same case. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got Zay Flowers and Jordan Addison. So I'd say these guys are in about the same level. So we got 44 listed for Zay Flowers, 32 sales. First sale was 500 and last sale was 230. So, I mean, that that's a very, I'd say the theme is that they drop probably half the price of their first sale. And just where we are in the, um, just the timeline of these cards, they're probably about where they're gonna stay unless someone has a crazy game or someone gets hurt, something like that. But just the market has settled for these cards Jordan Addison, we got 30 listed, 38 sold. Started at 350, last sale was 200, which this is surprising for me, just because Justin Jefferson was out and he was kind of getting the spotlight for a while. I feel like that card is a little undervalued because he's had a way better year than Quentin Johnston and you can pick up his downtown for only $50 more. But here we go, hopping into the um, fourth pack of this box. We 
we've got Vita Vey, George Kittle, Justin Herbert, Kenny Pickett. We got Justin Shorter on our first rated rookie. There's Jordan Addison. That's pretty cool. Ooh. We got Jameer Gibbs on the Gridiron Kings. That's a pretty mm. cool card. Yeah. I'll sleeve that one up. I like these cards. I don't know if there's, there's definitely numbered ones of these, but I wonder if you can get them in um, these, not sure, but you can get like laundry tag, brand logo, laundry tag in it, okay. So you can get like one of ones um, from this stuff, which is actually pretty cool. Downtown's in one of ones from blaster boxes. So last two, we got Devonte Adams. Um, he has 40 on there, 42 sold. Started out 250, last sale 160. So he's one of the cheaper um, downtowns that you can buy. And it did go down, um, not quite half, but still an exponential amount to where it's kind of stupid to buy one right when it comes out. And then last player, we got Jerry Rice. So he's kind of along with these um, retired players, only 18 listed. Yeah and 32 sales, which is, this is the least amount of listed ones. I don't know if that's the print run or just because people are keeping them, I'm not sure. But the first sale was 200 and the last sale was 200. So this is a very weird and interesting analytic right here. So it didn't go up, it didn't go down, which is kind of understandable for a player that is retired. But it didn't go along with these guys up here, probably just because these guys are QBs. Okay, so we have two packs left. Let's go ahead and dive into these. We'll see if we can um, kind of redeem this box. This box hasn't been the best, but we'll keep on trying. And I'm sure we'll have more Don Russ on the way. But here we go. First rated rookie, Mozzie Smith. We got Tanner McKee. What is this? Oh, is that? Okay, we got Tyler Scott on the rookies. That's pretty cool. Let's put that there. Not um, a super great player to get, but we have the last pack. So far, the last box number one has been way better than number two. Before we jump into this one, Remember, we do have the giveaway going on, so make sure you go and enter that. And I wanna hear your guys' thoughts on downtowns and if you think they should all be numbered or what they should do with them, because I just am not very attracted to downtowns right now. I don't know if that's just my personal um, like view on them, but I just don't, I would rather have um, an autograph or something like that than a downtown. Ooh, what's this? Devin Witherspoon, and that's on the Rookie Revolution. So the Rookies are Revolutions, but then the other ones are Vortexes. Oh, yeah. And last card, Chris Rodriguez on the Press Proof. 